Joblessness jumped in Massachusetts last month, but state officials say it's a temporary situation. 22 News State House reporter Tiffany Chan joins us live from Beacon Hill to explain why grocery stores felt the biggest impact. This state lost 5,300 jobs last month. Many of those jobs were grocery store positions, likely a result of the market basket feud. Massachusetts unemployment rate climbed to 5.8 percent in August, 0.2 percent higher than the month of July. The preliminary report by the Executive Office of Labor and Workforce Development shows one sector was hit the hardest. The job disruptions was in the sector of retail trade, which includes grocery stores, and it was a temporary change. The sudden spike could be largely due to last month's family feud over the market basket grocery chain. Thousands of employees went on strike across the company's 71 stores in Massachusetts and New Hampshire. Those jobs should be restored after a $1.5 billion deal that put Arthur Tidamoulis back in charge. Despite the losses, more than 4,000 jobs were created in education, hospitality and business services. No new taxes were added in fiscal 2015, which could also help employment numbers. The fact that there hasn't been any tax increases in the past year, which of course allows small businesses and larger businesses to hire people if they're not paying those taxes. An estimated 3.4 million people are employed in Massachusetts. The report also found that the state's long-term unemployed who had dropped out of the labor market are now getting back in the job hunt. Reporting live at the State House in Boston, Tiffany Chan, 22 News.